Item number SCP-1048 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1048 is currently free of the room Site-24, as it poses no threat and has been observed to greatly improve the morale of personnel to interact with it. The whereabouts of SCP-1048 are currently unknown, though it is still believed to be somewhere in Site-24. Subject is to be secured for containment but any creation of SCP-1048 should be destroyed on site, unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions. No teddy bears are to be allowed in Site-24 to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. Any object that resembles a teddy bear is to be reported to the security team immediately. This is not a joke. We have no idea what SCP-1048's full capabilities are. Who knows how many of the damn things are out there by now. Dr. Carver Description: SCP-1048 is a small teddy bear, approximately 33 cm in height. Through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it discernible from a non-sapient teddy bear. Subject is capable of moving of its own accord, and can communicate through a small range of gestures. The subject regularly shows affection to individuals in ways found endearing by most people. Affection is usually given in the form of a hug to the lower leg, but subject has also been observed dancing, jumping in place, and in two separate events it has even drawn childlike pictures for janitorial staff. All Foundation personnel that have interacted with the subject have responded positively to its affection, even D-Class with normally sociopathic tendencies. Attempts at direct communication with SCP-1048 have not been considered successful. Though it is capable of simple gestures to indicate a yes or no answer, it will often not react to lines of questioning concerning its nature or where it originated from. It is not known if this is because SCP-1048 simply does not know the answers or because it does not want to answer. Though capable of drawing pictures, it has not used its art as a form of communication beyond showing affection, even when encouraged to do so. The more anomalous behavior of SCP-1048 was not observed until approximately seven months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials, by a process that has yet to be observed directly by Foundation staff. Dr. Carver has suggested that SCP-1048 uses its endearing qualities to lull those around it into a false sense of security, allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. Currently, there are three known creations of SCP-1048, designated SCP-1048-A, SCP-1048-B, and SCP-1048-C. The nature of these creations have been in stark contrast to SCP-1048's general behavior, as all have exhibited extreme violence towards humans. SCP-1048-A On SCP-1048-A was discovered wandering Site-24 accompanied by SCP-1048. Subject resembles a teddy bear similar in size and shape to SCP-1048, but is made entirely out of human ears. Witnesses interviewed reported that it appeared SCP-1048 was giving a tour of Site-24 to SCP-1048-A. Dr. Carver was called to the scene, along with a security team. The security team arrived first and attempted to contain SCP-1048-A. Subject emitted a high-pitched shriek that inflicted intense pain on in the eyes and ears of everyone in a 10-meter radius. Ear-like growths immediately began growing on those within 5 meters of the subject, covering their bodies in less than 20 seconds. Every person afflicted with this symptom died within 3 minutes, resulting in the death of personnel, including the entire security team. Autopsies revealed the cause of death to be asphyxiation caused by an abundance of the ear-like growths manifesting in the mouth and trachea of all victims. SCP-1048 and SCP-1048-A fled the scene before Dr. Carver arrived, and have not been contained since the incident, though sightings of both have been reported on multiple occasions. Shortly after this incident occurred, a researcher was discovered missing an ear. According to him, it was removed through unknown means while he was sleeping. No other victims of ear removal were found, though it is unclear if SCP-1048 obtained more ears from another source or if it is capable of duplicating objects or materials. 
SCP-1048-B Subject was discovered by several Foundation staff members in the cafeteria of Site-24 on Subject's appearance was nearly identical to SCP-1048, but it moved in a regular, jerky manner. Subject made no attempt to interact initially, until a burst in its scene revealed what appeared to be the hand and arm of a human infant poking out and grasping at the air. At the sight of this, a female researcher named screamed, and SCP-1048-B reacted by emitting a high-pitched cry similar to that of a human infant. The subject then attempted to the screaming researcher, causing massive internal damage. In the ensuing chaos, a security team was forced to both the researcher and SCP-1048-B. Approximately three hours after this incident, Dr. was found unconscious and bleeding in her office. An abortion had been performed on her while she was sleeping, and the eight-month-old fetus was never found. It is hypothesized that SCP-1048 used Dr. unborn child to create SCP-1048-B. Information regarding the possible origin of SCP-1048-B is not to be leaked to the survivors currently undergoing therapy for the incident with SCP-1048-B, as Dr. Carver believes it would be extremely detrimental to their recovery. SCP-1048-C Subject resembles a teddy bear similar to SCP-1048, but composed entirely of rusted metal scraps. Subject was first sighted on by Dr. Carver in his office while writing up a report on the SCP-1048-B incident. Subject fled the room when it noticed Dr. Carver observing it. In the attempted pursuit of SCP-1048-C, Dr. Carver witnessed the death and maiming of Foundation personnel, as the subject exhibited extreme violence during its escape. SCP-1048-C has not been encountered since the initial sighting, and it is unknown whether it still resides somewhere within Site-24. The origins of any materials possibly used to construct SCP-1048-C by SCP-1048 are also unknown at this time. Addendum 1048-1 SCP-2295 is similar, but nearly antithetical in function to SCP-1048. Attempts to establish a common origin are ongoing. Extreme caution is to be taken if SCP-1048-A or SCP-1048-C are encountered again. I cannot stress this enough. The damn thing jumped right through those poor people. Dr. Carver <laughs>